I have always had a uh, passion for food. I think mainly it's because of my mother. She passed away 13 years ago. To me, she's the best home cook in the world. Lah. Hi, my name is Alan. I'm the owner of 165 Pork Ribs Prawn Noodle. We are located at this uh, 165 uh, Bukit Merah Central at Man Ling Coffee Shop. We serve like uh, traditional prawn noodles and I came up with something unique which is this Mala Kolo Mi with pork ribs and the prawn. It's a dry version and then it comes with a bowl of prawn soup. One thing quite unique about my soup is that it's a prawn based soup with this uh, pork broth but there is some herbs in it. It's a hybrid of uh, prawn soup and the uh, herbal pakote soup. I wanted to come up with something uh, unique and fresh because I know if I just go towards the traditional route, it may not attract the young crowd. This recipe came from my mother. I remember when I was young, I used to look forward to her prawn noodle soup. It's a happy moment for me. Lah. That's why I, I, I would like to share this happy moment with everyone. Lah. I will wake up around 5.15 to 5.30. We reach the store by 5.45 to 6 o'clock and then I will start preparing the soup and also the, the ingredients. And then my day will end at uh, 8 p.m. So I was in the Navy for about seven years. Yeah, from 2007 to 2014. I also have a certificate in culinary arts from uh, Sunrise Global Academy. So cooking and food is always has always been my passion. Now. I was a deck cadet in the Maritime Institute in Singapore. For the past three years, I've been sailing on a merchant ship and I was also sailing during the pandemic. I did F&B before my sailing also. So uh, that's why I decided to try again to see whether if this time it will work out for me. Lah. For the first store, I, I opened a Western store. It was at Bishan Street 11. Yeah, it says also at a coffee shop setup. I knew how to grill steak. I knew how to make like a chicken chop, mashed potatoes. I felt like, eh, why don't I try to open a, a food business uh, selling Western food? Lah. I didn't have any uh, experience, so I got everything new and then I didn't really find a lot of suppliers, so my cost was very high. My profit margin was pretty low, so I couldn't make uh, much money from the Western food. And also, I think the location wise wasn't very good also. One of the coffee shop owner is my friend, so he actually approached me to ask me if I'm interested to take up a store. Initially, I wanted to. I told him I wanted to do Western, but he said that uh, uh, someone already took Western food, so he asked if I if I can sell noodles instead. I also don't have experience selling noodles, but I still wanted to give it a try. And then I thought, since I like to eat my prawn, my mother's prawn noodles so much, why don't I try my best to to come out with a dish similar to my mother's prawn noodles and to, to see if the, the public would, would like it. Lah. I always wanted to have a business of my own. So why not do something that you have passion about? Lah? For the first few weeks, it was, it was quite chaotic because everyone was new, I was new, and then there were a lot of uh, customers who wants to come and try. And the first few weeks was more like a fine tuning for me. And then uh, slowly I, I got the gist of of it lah. seeing their face like they are very satisfied they are very they are smiling after eating my prawn noodles i think that is the happiest any chef or any cook uh, they will, will feel lah. actually i have uh, a, quite a few return customers now like i have this uncle who is eating my noodles every day he say he's not sick of it because he really like it yeah so i'm really uh, touched by it touched by him i wish i could add more uh, items but uh, since it's a one-man show now I think it's quite difficult to to expand my menu. I hope that in future I can expand my store so uh, people staying around Singapore won't have to travel so far to try my prawn noodles. If you really like to try uh, prawn noodles but you also like, like a bakute style you can come over to my store 
because I think my soup is pretty unique and if you want to try really something new, you can try the Malakolo noodles. I think it goes very well with the soup. For my loyal supporters, thank you very much for all your support and I really appreciate it. Please continue to uh, support me and I will do my very best.